uh, wanted to talk to you about business. Business? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going into uh, the profession of consulting leaders and companies on how to do more conscious business. Mm -hmm. And I've spent so much time with you. And, um, and you still would ask me a question? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't spent enough time with me, obviously. <laughs> well, <laughs> so how can you be successful in business while having an open without, heart? Without it really trying? <laughs> you just make a play. Uh, how to be successful in business? Well, while having an open heart and, um, and not getting hurt and not getting taken advantage of. Or hurting or taking advantage of. Also. Um, well, once again, the first, if you're going to try to transmit to other people an understanding of this concept, you have to really be it. The more you are it, then you'll be able to communicate it. Um, I don't know the nuts and bolts of what you would say to people. You know, how to say this, how to say that, what to tell them, how to do this or how to do that. The first law of living is to try to do as little harm as possible to people. So that must be it in business too, right? How do you make the money that you want to make, but harm other beings as little as possible. So there must be some skill in kind of picking what business you want to be in and some skill in doing how you do the business and the people that work for you, what are they thinking, who are they. You know, it's... It, but it all has to come from you if you're going to try to help these people to see this concept and really feel this concept. You have to really, the more you embody it, the, the, the better it will be for them and yourself, of course. So, mm -hmm. um, it's tricky, I guess, but, you know, there are people who do business in a good way. Um, these days, there's so many issues, you know, small footprint, ecological footprint, and, you know, doing, not creating things that make pollution and all this stuff. It's like a maze, mm -hmm. you know. So, there's a lot of issues involved. But it all comes, I guess it all comes down to, you know, trying not to harm in whatever you do. I don't think it's necessary that you only sell organic fruit that has never been, you know, that I don't think the product has to be inherently perfect. I think the most important thing is the offering of it and how you do the business. If on top of that there's a nice product that's actually helpful to people, that's great. But I think even, you know, that would be a great blessing on top of it. But the thing, the main thing is not to be hurting people or lying or stealing or cheating, which is basically what business is, mm. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, and on, on that note, <clears throat> for just for the common person, if they have an open heart and they're in the business world and they're around others who aren't, mm -hmm. how do they protect themselves? How do they, how do they work a with that open heart? Open heart doesn't mean doesn't need any protection whatsoever. Mm. An, op an open heart has no enemies anywhere because you, you could never be my enemy if my heart is open. Mm. I have nothing to fear from you. We're one when the heart is fully open. So what you're talking about is that middle ground okay. where you're trying to cultivate an open heart by by doing good, you know. You and if you're trying to do good in a world where that's not really the main thrust, you're going to come up against a lot of enemies. So uh, certainly a lot of obstacles. Now whether those obstacles, whether you turn those obstacles into enemies or not, that's up to you. But there will be obstacles. And you have to figure out how to deal with those obstacles in a good way without anger and without harming them. It's tricky stuff, you know. But once again, it, it all comes down to who you are you know, and, and where you live day to day, how you meet the people you meet, and how you deal with them and how you go through your life. You can't give something to somebody that you don't have. So, but you can share, of course, your practices and your ideas, but you, 
Yeah, and you know, and you can you can help people see things in a new way, and that there's other possibilities, other ways to do things if they want, but they have to want that. And if they if you can't make them want that, though, you know, I mean, you, my uncle Harry doesn't want to know about good business. He wants to rip you up and get his, every dime he can, <laughs> you know. And my uncle Rob and my other uncle. They raised chinchillas to make coats, you know, so they slaughtered these poor little animals who were kind of like rats with fur, you know, to make all these coats. And they went out, you know, I mean, they didn't give a shit about those animals. They just wanted coats they can sell and make a lot of money. So, and they weren't interested. There's nothing you can say to them. They don't give mm. a shit about that. So you're going to meet a lot of people who really couldn't give a shit. And how you deal with that is going to be interesting. Because <laughs> you can't make a person give a shit. If they don't have an in them to give a shit, because most of it is, most people feel that life is about survival, taking care of mice. What goes into my mouth and to the mouth of my family and the people who are important to me, and anything that threatens that will kill, or get you know will overcome them somehow. With that's the, the you know, so when you begin to recognize that hurting anyone is 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 not. A useful, a useful path. Then you know you start to, you know you start to try to find a new way to live. And so mm. I think it'll be, I think it'll be great work for you on yourself, because you're going to have to. It's going to make you more and more real as you come up. Yeah. Come across these people, like half these people are going there because their boss said to go talk, to hear your talk, and they don't give a shit what you have to say, <laughs> and you still have to be real. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, what what came to me is it's if if that is the case, it's about them and their problems, and and me. Then mm -hmm. I just have to put it through that lens. Mm -hmm. About them and they, what do you mean by that? When you said it, they're just kind of like me. What I put in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. so whatever the the advice or the teachings are is mm -hmm. put it through that lens so yeah, that they sure. see it as yeah as as in their <clears throat> you know it's self interest. It's, you, I'm sure you're not naive, so you, you'll, I'm sure you're aware that most people really don't give a shit about anybody else except themselves and their families and their small little circle. And so to think that you can sell another way of doing this, like a so-called spiritual way of, of doing business, you know, it's just, it, it's, they have to want that, they have to realize, they have to understand why that is, why that's the best path for them. If the light doesn't go on, there's no way, you know. So you, you have to present that somehow as being in their best interest. Mm -hmm. But that's tricky because, you know, my Uncle Harry doesn't give a shit. There's no way he would ever <laughs> give a shit, you know, now, no matter what you say, from now until the hell freezes over, you know. So it's going to be interesting. The main thing for you, though, is to keep doing your practice. Mm -hmm. Stay as centered as you can. Recognize that you do what you do, but the fruits of your actions, the results of your actions, are up to whoever. And that's not up to you. All you can do is do the best you can do. Whether you turn somebody, open somebody's heart about this, or give them some light about this, that's kind of a karmic predicament. Maybe some people will get it, some people won't. But it's for you to stay centered and not take on all that negativity is going mm. to be really hard for you. It's going to be real work. Because it, you, you get very, you get, you can, I can see you getting very kind of disheartened by you know, dealing with these, these kind of people. And that's your attachment to what you think should be happening for them. Mm. Right? Mm. That's not your business. Your business is to present what you present. They can, you can't, you can take a, lead a horse to water, but you can't make mm -hmm. them drink unless they're thirsty. No matter what you say to them. So the thirsty ones will drink, the ones who aren't thirsty won't. That's it. You've done your, you've done your best. Mm -hmm. That's, that's all you can do. Right? So you need to find some way of decompressing from that, you know, regularly. Uh, really letting go of, of all your, your. There's a difference between aspiration and tension, and results. You know, so you got to keep your aspiration and intention strong and clean and open, 
and at the same time not be concerned with the success. As long as they pay you, you can take, you can do what you do and leave. You can show them caring and compassion and kindness, but that doesn't mean they're going to respond to what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. um, so, interesting. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Which kind of businesses are you, th are you working with or are you planning to work with, you know? I'm, I'm open to all businesses, but mm -hmm. my background, for the most part, has been in the food industry. Uh huh. So, mm -hmm. that's kind of the starting point is yeah, those yeah. in the food industry, but mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've worked with many types of businesses before and um, I'm open to small, medium, mm -hmm. and large. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling maybe the medium size are the place that can have the most impact because there's more people there than the small businesses and they're more open to change mm -hmm. than the really big ones. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Take your cup. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Thank be, you very well. Yeah, sure. Take good care.